are very grateful to the honorable president for giving us valuable time this will be a memorable day throughout our life this tour as part of operation sarvabhavna is aimed to give exposure to the unemployed youth of rajouri district for knowing various employment opportunities in small scale industries this tour comprises of 25 unemployed youth belonging to the remote villages of rajouri district most of these students are from militancy affected area and are visiting outside jnk for the first time these students have been selected from this strata of society and they have the potential to make the best use of this tour as part of preparation for this tour these students have undergone 10 days workshop at msme jammu that is micro small and medium enterprises development institute a government of india enterprises they have undergone this training from 26 august to 6 september where they were given information about various financial schemes and technical assistance that are being provided by the central and state government to unemployed youth the classes of personality development were also taken for these students this is a 9 day tour where these students will visit the small in scale industries in ncr region and in jaipur this will give them an opportunity to enhance their general awareness and make them aware of various avenues available in small scale sectors the young students will be meeting with various successful entrepreneurs which will give them a valuable insight towards becoming self reliant this tour is also aimed at giving these students an insight into rich culture and heritage of our great country this tour was flagged off from rajouri on 12 september and we are visiting industries in ncr and in jaipur from 12 to 19 september as we all are aware that in the present scenario employment opportunities existing in jnk states are limited this situation is much grimmer in areas close to the line of control where these students belong the endeavor of this tour is to motivate these students and to facilitate them in earning their livelihood respectfully an interaction with honorable governor of rajasthan has also been organized at jaipur beside giving these students opportunity for employment this tour also aims to spread the message of love peace and harmony we are once again very grateful to the honorable president for giving us this valuable time now i request kishore kumar to come on stage and on behalf of his student share his experience about this tour honorable president and other distinguished audience a very good evening to all of you i am kishore kumar from baba gulam shah bashai university rajouri and i am here on behalf of all the students of this tour it was my childhood dream to visit the rashtrapati bhavan and to meet the president of india and today it is a great feeling when this dream has become a reality on this special occasion i feel grateful to my teachers who have made us capable grow us professionally and to my parents who have taken all the pains and sacrifice to make us study in spite of all the odds in border area we are very grateful to the government of india and to the indian army for providing us such a great opportunity of attending this motivational and educational tour which will be a milestone in our career this is a great opportunity for us to be a part of this tour and today is the most memorable day in our life to get the opportunity to meet the honorable president we are attending 10 days classes at msme jammu where we were given training on the personality development and scheme of central government and jnk state this industrial and motivational tour is a great exposure to us we all are from district rajouri and this is the first time that that most of our coming out of jnk even i myself i am going to ncr region and J jaipur for the first time in fact there are few students who have not only come out of rajouri for the first time but few of us have seen the train for the first time in our life we would like to ensure you that we will try our level best to give maximum benefit out of this tour 
एट द एंड आई एम अगेन वेरी ग्रेटफुल टू द ऑनरेबल प्रेजिडेंट फॉर गिविंग अस रेयर अपॉर्चुनिटी ऑफ इंट्रैक्शन विद हिम थैंक यू सर जय हिंद जय भारत नाउ आई रिक्वेस्ट ऑनरेबल प्रेजिडेंट टू एक्सेप्ट आई स्मॉल मोमेंटो फ्रॉम रोमियो फोर्स ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ जनरल ऑफिसर कमांडिंग रोमियो फोर्स मेजर जनरल इंदू नारायण विशेष सेवा मेडल Major Monish, members of the staff, dear students, I'm glad to welcome you to Rashtrapati Bhavan on your first visit outside your areas to our national capital and couple of other places. young friends you have come far away from your home as you mentioned while sharing your experience that quite a few of you have not even visited other parts of jammu and kashmir outside your own district therefore no doubt this is an exciting experiment to you this experience will help you in your future life and also it will have an impression in your mind that you may belong to a small place in your village in your area in your small town near the line of control in jammu and kashmir but you are part of a vast country which spreads from snow capped mountains himalayas in the north to the wave stricken shore in the remotest south covered by hills and jungles of mizoram in the east and arabian sea on the west on this vast territory you are part of it you belong to it the basic purpose of your visiting delhi gajabad and joypur are to motivate you in respect of the self employment in small medium micro small and medium enterprises i know as from your experiences in your life you have seen and you will come to know that employment opportunities in jammu and kashmir and especially in the areas which are inflicted by militancy is extremely limited and we are caught in a visa circle and that visa cycle is unemployment leads to dissatisfaction dissatisfaction leads to frustration frustration leads to indulgence to all sorts of activities which are not desirable therefore after being adult after receiving education it is necessary to have employment employment does not necessarily mean the job of a clerk or of a class four staff in an office or a teaching assignment 
employment means to keep you engaged in something productive. You yourself can do that. The objective of bringing you here, Delhi, Gajabad, Jaipur, to make you aware that in India, the micro, small and medium enterprises are the backbone of our industrial development. India is one of the largest economy of the world. As per purchasing power parity, we are the third largest economy in the world. And the backbone of this economy, industrial economy, manufacturing activities are micro, small and medium enterprises. We have large number of units. More than 5,000 clusters of small, micro, small and medium enterprises are there. It is the policy of the government of India, not today, but over a very long period of time, we are currently going through 12th five-year plan. Our economic development plan is encompassed in a period of five years. So we have completed 11 such five-year plan plus some annual plans and now we are in the period of 12th five-year plan. We began it from 1951. 62 years of our planning has been done. And from the very beginning it was important that we must encourage micro, small and medium enterprise. As a result, today, 40% of our exports Forty percent of our employment and a huge chunk of our manufacturing activities are contributed by these MSMEs. Their contribution in our overall GDP is very substantial. Now how to begin? Where to start? You require a lot of support. You require finance. You require market to sell your products. You require technology, machine to produce. Therefore, the institute of micro, small and medium enterprises, Development Institute, in collaboration with them, this awareness building campaign is being organized. What type of facilities are being provided? Credit facilities, technical assistance, how to market the products, how to attract the customers, what facilities you can get from the state government? What facilities you can get from the union government? What is your responsibility? All these things can be provided to you by having interaction with those who are engaged in the small and micro, small and medium enterprises. I am really happy that Rajput Rifles have organized. Major Munish and his colleagues are accompanying you to these important centers. I understand you have visited Okhala. You are going to Gajiabad, you will be going to Jaipur. 
and in fact whole of Punjab. Punjab's economic development took place through the small, micro, small and medium enterprises from the very beginning. Large number of people of my Punjab, I'm talking of Punjab and Haryana united, a large chunk, they came from Pakistan, West Punjab, after partition 1947, almost penniless. But within few years, through their enterprises, through the facilities provided by the government of India, through its policies, helped them to build up their industrial capacity. Certain areas of Punjab are known for the engineering industries. For engineering industry, raw materials, like iron, like steel, are not available in Punjab. Government policy was freight equalization, that basic raw materials like coal, steel, which are required for manufacturing activities, they will be sold at equal price all over the country. Bihar produces co steel, coal. Bengal produces steel, coal. Whatever be the market price of steel, coal there, that will be the market price of steel, coal in Punjab or in other remote areas. It is called freight equalization policy. That helped in building up the engineering industries in Punjab. And after the achievement, after they became experienced, achieved success, then no longer this policy is needed. Today that particularization is not there. But doesn't matter, at the initial stage, it was necessary, it was there, it helped. I am giving you just an example. You require money from the bank at concessional rate of interest. What type of projects, how much amount you can have, all these practical knowledges will be imparted to you through your interactions, those who are engaged in actually doing work like you. And that will provide you the job. Therefore, on the one hand, it will